Brace yourselves. Ponies are coming. Cloud still moves? Cloud still moves? Wait, was that the running of the leaves? Was that reused footage? Wait, isn't that unsafe? What are they trying to teach the kids here? Well, he does seem to be moving a little slowly. Mm -hmm. I know, right? And he looks kind of sleepy. Mm-hmm. Totally. Just like he always does. She has a point. <laughs> I'm sure you're right. He usually doesn't yawn that often, though. As far as I can tell. He doesn't, right? I'm pretty sure he doesn't. Of course he goes to Fluttershy for veterinary advice. He's just going to hibernate. You do realize he's not a bear, right? <laughs> when the weather grows cold and less when the time comes, Tank will leave and dig into the ground. That's true, tortoises are cold blooded animals. It would make sense for them to hibernate. Why would they do that? Come on, Jake. Eh, of course, he just dozes off in the wrong direction. To get a second opinion from a real reptile expert. Oh, please. I told you, Rainbow Dash, I'm a dragon! Come on! You're practically twins! I'm purple? But if you don't have to hibernate, why should Tank? Because he's a tortoise, and I'm a dragon! Same family though, right? No! I'll take that as a yes. Ugh, look. The Fluttershy's tortoise... Uh, all been of been the cringe-worthy. What would you know? They're a dragon. Really? Totally would too. Smile <sighs> seriously. Pinkie Pie and I are just having a conversation. Look, Rainbow Dash, we all know more about tape. But you shouldn't take your anger out. I don't know what she's upset about. She already has her breakfast and it's not dinner time yet. Show me your war face! Exactly what you are. <sighs> but get up anyway. Well, I wish my Don't pet was hibernating me. right now. She's being a kind of a nuisance lately. I'd rather have him awake in the heat than asleep in the cold. <gasps> I'll just have to stop winter. Oh my god, it's the Grinch face. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Third base! 
That guy is a really cool design, though. Seriously off-model compared to most of the other ponies. Oh, is this what I think it is? Oh, I think it is. I can't believe this she's this doing a song about this. It's like if the Grinch pulled a one slur from that one new movie or something. Yeah, I bet the Grinch would be a big hit with the Tumblr fangirls if he had a song like this. <laughs> Or a story like this. No, he doesn't really need her right now. He needs to sleep. That's what he needs. Jeez. It's it's amazing the lengths that this pony will go for for her pet though. It's almost admirable. If it wasn't so morally wrong. I mean, I know what it's like to have a strong bond with a pet, but this... This is just pushing it. So very pushing it. Just, just like a tank right here. It's like he's, she's totally ignoring his current status. How selfish is that? Well, she's definitely no element of generosity, I know that for sure. I swear to God, if someone makes a Snowdrop reference right here, that is not how references work. It's not. You, you don't just randomly make snowdrop references just because it's snowing and there's snowflakes. Wait, at the source? At the Rainbow Factory. Da 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 da. That Mission Impossible style music, though. Dun 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 Hey, isn't that sea spray? A Pegasus version of sea spray with an umbrella cutie mark? An umbrella cutie mark. Not even any dolphins, but an umbrella. Why? Why? And it's not even like Crescent Moon and Doctor Who's where they have different coat colors. That's that's the same pony, but a Pegasus and an umbrella cutie mark. Seriously, no snowdrop references, people. Just, just, just don't. Duh. That's kind of a no-brainer when you think about it. Uh-oh. That can't be a good sign. I think karma's starting to kick in. Whoosh. Uh-oh. Oh my god, lightning in a jar. Oh, oh, that was a red button. Big red button. Definitely not a good sign. A lightsaber, by the way. I didn't actually have a replica sword or anything. 
Seriously, that Game of Thrones reference, though. Cause, you know, kids show. Game of Thrones, who's on for a savage of Stello. These are totally references kids are going to get. Eh. For the parents and the bronies, I guess. Well, she just broke more than just the fourth wall. She broke the third wall there. Or is it the second? I'm not really sure. Her sparkle? Don't sparkles always do the trick? Whoa, when did Fluttershy become Garnet from Steven Universe? Oh man, here we go. I, I can really empathize with her right now. I've lost like four pets since I moved to LA. Four cats. One of them was just a baby. I lost all four of them. It's pretty, it's pretty sad really. I, I just... <laughs> Man, I lost those cats for forever. She's lucky. She's really lucky. Right. Oh, it's... Oh, it has to remind me of these things, so... I'm gonna remind me of these things. By the way, these winter outfits, though. Have you- are these the same winter outfits as they used in previous episodes? Cause I don't think they are. Who just look at Rarity's hat there? <laughs> Her hat, those glasses. <laughs> At least it's not another crime against fashion like they were doing in the, what was it, season 3 or was that season 4? I don't remember, but she was doing a lot of crimes against fashion there. Scramble Dash has a bean again everything. Like, you could totally recolor Rainbow Dash's outfit here to look like Eric Cartman or something. I'm gonna hang here and retool a bit. That little guy can never get to sleep without a bedtime story. Oh, like, no, it wasn't Cartman, it was the other kid, wasn't it? I, I don't remember. Something South Park elected. I don't know. 
And that's the end of the episode. So, what did I think about it? Best Rainbow Dash episode ever. I mean, it's very rare that Rainbow Dash just wears her feelings on her sleeve like this. It's just... And just the way that she really cares about Tank. Though there's a distinct lack of pancakes and Twitter references in this episode, I've noticed. <laughs> Yeah, but overall, it's a, it's a pretty good episode. It's got the, the, the Game of Thrones reference. It's got the who's on first type joke. It, it, it's got a song, that uh, awesome song. But I just can't believe they're doing a song about that. It just seems like something that like, modern Dr. Seuss movies would do or something. How bad can I be? Just doing what comes naturally. You know, you know how those movies are. It's childhood. But, yeah, it's still a good song, but... Yeah, overall, this was a great episode, and this season has just been great overall. I mean, there's just been... Wow. So, yep, I guess that's all for now, I guess. Time to uh, teleport out of here.